Well, just a tragic update out of New York City tonight where more than 900 people have died from coronavirus. And sadly, officials reported the first death of a child and they haven't said exactly just how young. New York City's mayor said today he expects the crisis there to stretch through May. The Navy hospital ship Comfort and a temporary hospital in a convention center will take on non coronavirus patients to ease the strain on hospitals and other states are sending 250 ambulances and 500 paramedics to help. Meanwhile, Samaritan's Purse volunteers traveled to New York City and built a makeshift hospital in Central Park. They started seeing patients today and Channel 9's Tony Sadiku has a look at their efforts on the front lines. Yeah, this emergency field hospital is very similar to what we saw Samaritan's Purse deploy over a week ago to Italy and several months ago to the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian. Now seeing its first patients in New York, where the situation has quickly turned to a nightmare scenario. COVID-19 spreading at an alarming rate. About 20% of those testing positive needing to be hospitalized as hospitals run out of beds to take care of patients. Take a look at some of this video. You can see just how dire the situation is. A hospital in Brooklyn overwhelmed and forced to treat patients in the hallway. That's why disaster workers with Samaritan's Purse rushed a 14 tent, 68 bed emergency field hospital to completion today in Central Park. A center of life and recreation, now the battleground to provide a lifeline for those battling the virus. This mobile hospital outfitted for the respiratory needs of coronavirus patients and staffed with dozens of doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals. While Samaritan's Purse is on the ground in New York, they're also assisting here at home. I'm told they've delivered more than 50,000 face masks to hospitals across North Carolina to help keep hospital workers safe. Back to you.